Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Welcome to today's message from Harvest Chapel International. We believe the message will be a blessing to you as you imbibe God's truth. God bless you. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Somebody give a shout of victory unto the Lord that we serve. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout yes. Somebody shout yes. Oh, hello. Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Give a high five to somebody. Tell him, God will bless you before you leave this place. Say to him again, God will bless you. I'm not afraid. 
your hometown is not where you come from your hometown is not where you come from hello 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 somebody shout i hear lift up your hand and just declare with me say i declare october november december by prayer by fasting by the revelation of the God, of god's word i will end the year well shout i will end the year well shout again i will end the year well the most sensitive part of the year is the last 90 days because god always reward at the end not the beginning and normally the devil knows that during the end of the race your strength is small so he comes in to attack i declare that within these 90 days may god renew your strength may god renew your strength may god renew your strength somebody shout i hear i hear god is a god of numbers and symbols january stands for beginning february stands for witness two three stands for trinity four stands for open door five stands for favor tonight may god favor somebody here six stands for high favor seven is a number of perfection may god perfect everything concerning you i said may god perfect everything concerning you eight stands for new beginning nine is a month of delivery and we are in the tenth month and ten stands for divine authority tonight may god give you to the divine authority i said may god give you divine authority praise the lord i said praise the lord look straight into somebody's face and tell him your hometown is not where you come from hello and i'm going to teach you why you don't come from that place your hometown is not agboboloshi your hometown is not tamale but we'll see where you come from if you want to be significant in the year of significance and make an impact where you come from matters tonight may god give you divine authority to make an impact somebody shout i hear somebody saying, i hear acts of the apostles chapter 3 verse 2 acts 3 2 and a certain man lamed from his mother's womb underline his mother's womb underline his mother's womb and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried whom they laid daily at the gates of the temple which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple amen i said your hometown is not where you come from the man was not involved in an accident in fact the man was not short but before the man came out of the mother's stomach the man was a cripple hello he came out as a cripple he says a certain man was lamed from his mother's womb so you can also come out of your mother's womb as a poor person whom 
they lay daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful to ask for arms not for money there is a difference between money and arms arms are anything that will sustain you for a little while just so that we get rid of you when you meet me in traffic and you ask for arms I know 20 pesos cannot help you but I'll give it to you so they are tokens and something that cannot take you far so the aim of the Ebusian 4 is that they take this man to go and perch by the, the temple called beautiful not to ask for money but to ask for something that can just sustain him for a while but as this man came out of the mother's womb he was a cripple tonight your hometown is not where you come from if somebody can be born a cripple you can also be born a poor person you can also be born a drunkard hello 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 somebody said if this certain man was slain don't say it after me from his mother's womb he never committed any error he was not knocked down by a bus or a train but if he can come out as a cripple you can also come out not having any impacts in your world and for me that is the route we need to tackle I said where you come from is not your hometown your hometown is your mother's womb that is where you first lived for nine months if somebody can be conceived nine months and come out as a cripple when we relocate you to the jubilee house for nine months your destiny can also change if for nothing you are guaranteed of two things a v8 and a contract praise the lord i said praise the lord i said praise the lord tonight we will reverse the tape i said tonight we will reverse the tape tonight we are going to reverse the tape somebody shout i hear shout again i hear into young kuni asel they put him down to ask for arms arms can only sustain you for a while and i said there is a difference between money and arms tonight any negative pronunciation negative pattern that was laid down for us in our mother's womb tonight we reverse it i said we reverse it i said we reverse it somebody shout i hear i hear So it's not strange for people not to be not to have any significant impact in the world there is a root cause if this certain man didn't do anything and came out as a cripple be careful turn to somebody and tell him be careful tell him again be careful tell him again be careful lift up your hand and say oh lord say again oh lord whatever happened in my mother's womb tonight i enter into my mother's womb and i reverse any negative parting in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i'm building i want you to follow me psalm 51 
Psalm 51. David was anointed as a king as a result of killing Goliath. David was supposed to go for war, but David didn't go. There was a spirit that led David to go on top of the roof. That same spirit led him to see the nakedness of a woman. Listen to me. The woman was not an ordinary woman. He was the wife of an army commander. Meaning that there is no way this man or this woman should have her bath in an open space. Hello? Hello? There was no way. He, she was the wife of an army commander. Meaning he was a rich person. But this same spirit led David to climb the top of the roof. This same spirit led David to see the nakedness of this woman. Psalm 51. And David prayed this prayer. Please, we'll go through it one after the other. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Verse 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Verse 3. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Verse 4. Against thee, the only have I sinned. And done this evil in thy sight, that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Verse 5. Look at it. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Conception takes place in the womb. So before David sin, there was this. It wasn't because of the fact that he sinned and he wrote it. He came to the realization that he was shaping, he was fashioned in iniquity. And in sin, did the mother conceive him. Amen. So before he was born, there was a sin here. Before David was conceived and given birth to, there was an error in the man's what? Belly. Tonight, any negative pattern, anything that is pulling you back in life, we declare it will give way to the presence of the Lord. And do you know that if a woman is pregnant, wherever she goes to, the baby also goes there too. So if the woman goes to church, the baby automatically goes to church. If she goes to the shrine, the baby also goes to the shrine. I came to tell you that where you come from is not your hometown. You have been praying, attacking your home your uncles and your, 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 your aunties. But I came to tell you that your hometown is your mother's belly. It's the womb of your mother. Amen. I said amen. I said amen. I said amen. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. So before... They gave birth to David. There was an error. So you will come to the world and struggle. And nothing will happen to you because of the error. Tonight, any error, any pronouncement, any error, we declare it shall give way. We declare it shall give way. Somebody shout, I hear. Somebody shout again, I hear. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. So your first house is your mother's womb. Your first house. Ecclesiastes 11.5. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Verse 5. As thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit and anytime as comes there is a comparison nor how the bones do grow and things grow in our mother's belly so he's trying to compare the physical to the spiritual he said as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit and nobody knows the way of the spirit then he comes to the flesh and says know how the bones do grow in the womb of hair that is with a child i tell you things grow if the foundations if the foundations are weak they will grow tonight any bone that has grown and has taken authority over us such that we are not able to make any impact in our world we reverse it i said we reverse it i said we reverse it praise the lord praise the lord Oh, bro. Oh, yummy, yummy. Oh, the man. Chemi. Sasempa. Chichi mi rire. Mami. Luke 41. Luke 1 41. Luke chapter 1, verse 41. And it came to pass. Tonight I declare, whatever has held you over the years, it will come to pass. I said it will come to pass. When Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, When Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped. <laughs> the baby was not out. Too. The baby was inside the mother's womb. But when the baby heard the salutation of Mary, the baby leaped. Oh, yeah, they're not here. Jesus. The baby lived in her womb. How come? The baby was in the womb. And Mary just said hello to her sister Elizabeth. And Bible says that the baby lived. <laughs> it means that when they are in the womb, they can hear. They can hear. Certain things have become a normal phenomenon in your life because the foundation was wrong. 
How can a baby in a mother's womb hear the noise from outside? How? How? Is it possible? How? But Bible says that when the baby heard the salutation, she what? She leaped. Your hometown is not where you come from. I said your hometown is not where you come from. And sometimes you can be at an advantage before you are giving birth to. Sometimes you can also be at a disadvantage before they give birth to you. It all starts from the womb. Tonight, wherever you were taken to, when you were conceived, that is not of God. By divine authority, joining my faith to all the pastors here, and our bishop we reverse it in the name of jesus i said we reverse it in the name of jesus somebody shout yes she leaped the baby leaped just as a result of salutation so if they can hear from outside, then it means that when you, are, you were here, whatever pronouncement was made over you and your mother carrying you can have an effect on you. So some people are not able to make any significant impact in the world. Life has become like a cycle. You go around and come back to the same thing because the roots... It's in the womb. But tonight, by the spirit of the living God, we will reverse every train. We reverse every train. We reverse every train. We reverse every train. In the name of Jesus. Your hometown is not where you come from. I said your hometown is not where you come from. I said your hometown is not where you come from. Tonight, you will be separated from your, your mother's womb. May you be separated from 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 your mother's womb. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Look straight into somebody's face and tell him, your hometown is not at Bogoloshi. Your hometown is not America. Your hometown is not Ghana. Your hometown is your mother's womb. Amen. 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 That is why it's important where your mother goes to. It's very, very, very important. That is the roots, that is the foundation. If you can do something and achieve something in the world, it depends on where you were taken to when you were conceived. Amen. Amen. But I declare that within these 90 days, before the end of the year, within these 90 days, before the end of the year, may you grow, may you be promoted, may you make an impact in your world. Somebody shout, I hear. Shout again, I hear. Lift up your hands, oh, yeah, that was 
chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 tonight we'll reverse every bad trend we will rewind the tape and speak into our situations amen amen then the word of the lord came to me saying verse 5 listen to the verse very well he says before I formed thee in the belly, we can substitute womb with belly. True or false? Hello? So before I formed thee in thy mother's womb, I knew thee. Conception has not taken place, but there was a knowing. And before thou comest forth out, so still in the womb, I sanctified you. So before conception, there was a knowing. Before delivery, there was a sanctification. Why? So before he came out, he was an advantage over everybody. He sanctified him and ordained him a what? A prophet before conception and delivery. All in the mother's womb. So when he came out, the significant impact was, was already there. The signature was all, was all over the place. So he worked in that signature. Because there was a sanctification and there was an ordination all in the mother's word. Boom. Before I found thee in the womb, I know you before. It means that the belly, there is a lot of issues there. A lot of issues so god knew that that is why he said and before thou comest forth out of the womb i the lord i heart i sanctify you so there should be some sanctification so when god sanctify you and separate you from your mother's womb then he can elevate you then he can put you at where you belong to so that you will go and make an impact in your world tonight may god sanctify you i said may god sanctify you may god elevate you may god promote you somebody shout i hear so if somebody is sanctified and ordained somebody too can be sanctified and ordained as a drunkard somebody can also be sanctified and ordained as a womanizer somebody can also be sanctified and ordained as a poor man it all starts from here so before the prophets came out there was a lot of preparation sanctification has gone on elevation has gone on and we know the story of these prophets means that a lot of work had been done by god himself and for us to make the significant impact in our world it will not come by reading of textbooks it will not come as a result of reading and listening it will come from the i am that i am from jehovah <laughs> 
Tonight, may God sanctify you. I said, may God sanctify you. May God ordain you. And to three, four, say, yeah, what was it? Yes, what? Unchecking yeah. If it's a groundwork, it has been done. It's been done already. Before I formed thee, and I love it. He didn't say before I formed thee. Somewhere, he was specific. So even before the mother and the father met, God already had a plan for that person. Tonight, anything that is not of God, any shrine that our mother visited, anything that they consulted, that because of that, we have become like something in this world. There is nothing that we can do. Tonight, we play back the tape. We rewind the tape. We rewind the tape. We rewind the tape. We go back to the foundations and we declare, Lord, sanctify us. Only the I'm 
the tummy back now with the cassa. Oh, my dear, who you want? I see to me back now with the cassa. Am I all for sorry? I am going to your sir. I did a bit of a little bit. There are the meeting one with your soul. It's my consumer smoker. Yenin in my ass road. Yes, you know, yes, you know. If you say you want to be a Yenin in a book, you just want to be a Yenin in a book. Oh, yeah, you never see the Yenin. Something is happening on the back. Hey, 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 God is good. I said God is good. I can hear you. I said God is good. Let me finish so we pray. Romans 9, 9 to 12. Romans chapter 9, verse 9 to 12. Romans 9, 9 to 12. Very interesting account of the word of God. Romans chapter 9, verse 9. For this is the word of promise, that this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And, only, and not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, by one man, not two men. Even by our father Isaac, 11. For the children being not yet born. For the children not yet born. Neither having done any good or evil. 
that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth verse 12 the children they haven't done anything they haven't done any good or any evil but before they were conceived these words were spoken it was said unto her the elder shall serve the younger from the womb from the womb from the womb your hometown is not where you come from i said your hometown is not where you come from from the womb it was said unto her it was said unto her before conception the elder shall serve the younger let's go verse 13 verse 13 verse 13 as it is written so it was already written jacob have i loved <coughs> but esau have i but esau have i before they were conceived and born it was written it was said from the womb so when you come out like that you have to do something about it if you don't do anything about it you can't shine you have to reverse it if i had time i would have gone back to tell you what Esau did to reverse it there is something you can do there is something that you can do if the foundations be destroyed what shall the righteous do it's not a statement it's a question so there is a question mark there he's asking you what can you do if it's a statement you can't do anything about it but there is a question mark tonight may god give you divine authority i said may god give you divine authority to reverse anything that has gone on it was written jacob have i loved you know sometimes you can't understand why some people are walking in favor sometimes it beats your imagination but they have done something about the situation tonight you are going to do something about your situation i said you do something about your situation shout i hear shout again i hear don't forget a certain man was crippled from the mother's womb he was crippled from here may god give you grace to reverse it i said may god give you grace to reverse it may god give you grace to reverse it praise the lord let me look at just one scripture and then we'll pray galatians chapter 1 verse 15 if you can give me the amp the amplified version galatians chapter 1 verse 15 amp amp version but when god who had chosen me and this is paul speaking paul speaking when god who had chosen me and set me apart apart before i was what born you must be set apart you must be set apart paul speaking but when god who had chosen me and set me apart before i was born and called me through his words grace was what please you can be pleased of god if you are separated 
Amen. This is Paul. When God, who had chosen me, so anytime God chooses you, He sets you apart. For us to make significant impacts in our year, you have to be chosen. You have to be set apart. Tonight, we want to pray that God will choose us and separate us from their connection. Amen. 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 You can be born disadvantaged. You can also be born advantaged. It all starts from the womb. May God give you grace. I said, may God give you grace. I said, may God give you grace. And I remember the story of Hannah. Who made Samuel a prophet? It was his mother. Hannah made Samuel a prophet. First Samuel 1.11. Let me conclude with this. First Samuel 1.11. 1 Samuel 1.11. She made a vow. God has deposited something in your mouth. When you read Genesis chapter 1 through to 31, you would read God said 10 times, and God said, let it be, and God said, and God said, and God said, verse 31, and God saw. So whatever you say, you will see it. Tonight, whatever you say, may you see it. May you see it. She made a vow saying, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction, the suffering of your maidservant and remember and not forget your maidservant, but will give your maidservant a son. Listen, he didn't consult anybody. Then I, Hannah, will give him to the Lord. So there was a giving and God chose him and made him a prophet. Tonight, whatever you will say, you will see it. Within the last 90 days of this year, whatever you are going to declare, may you see it before the end of the year. May you see it before the end of the year. Somebody shout, I hear. Shout again, I hear. Shout again, I hear. You want to be upstanding. Say Thank you for listening to the message. Visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org. Send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302-222-372 or 0302-229-109. God bless you.